So if I was making a lifestyle program for you, how would it differ from maybe other things you've seen? I noticed that most programs usually start with everything, right? Change all of this, eat this way, start doing all of this that you've never done before. I wouldn't do that. I would spend a long time, maybe days, week, learning your tendencies, but I can't do that for each individual person. So let me just simplify what I would do. I would have you start eating less, not a whole lot less, but less. And I would also have you start moving a little more. I wouldn't tell you to hit the gym three times a week if you've never done it. If you want to try the gym, I would ease you into that. Depend on what you want to do, what your, your interests are. So if you're sitting there right now, like, well, what do I do? Start eating less. Look at, look at what you're eating. Then you eat a lot of bread. What can I do? How could I change that every single time I eat bread to have less calories than I'm having now, but not really notice the difference? Go look for different types of bread. Try some low calorie bread. There's bread that has 240 calories for two slices, and there's bread that has 70 calories for two slices. And there's a lot of things in between. Milk, almond milk, cheese, lower fat cheese, meat, leaner cuts of meat, added fat for no reason, added carbs for no reason. Those are two things that you can cut. You don't have to cut all carbs, you don't have to cut all fats, but those are the two things when you're looking to cut calories, that's where you should be looking. And it doesn't really matter which one, go with your preference, but keep the protein in there whenever you can. And, and that's where I would start. You do that for two or three weeks and you're gonna lose some pounds with very minimal effort because it's a slow, gradual process. And that is how I would do it because that's how I think that sustainability is built by slowly learning yourself, not by jumping into an insane program. Never worked for me, not once in 20 years, but when I did it my way, it did. And I think a lot of other people are like me. So one of my big points here is I think that what people don't understand is that you do actually have time. And when you realize that you have have time to do these things and you have patience then you can actually do them right you can try to rush it I mean it'll work like you know all of those 20 years that I did all the things I just mentioned that I wouldn't do now they worked I lost weight fast every time yay it was great and then it sucked when I gained it back and then it, it sucked all of that time until I got it back up to try again and it was great for a minute but guess what during that time I was miserable. During the time I wasn't doing it, I was miserable. It was a common theme, I was always miserable. And then I started doing something that didn't make me miserable. Imagine that that made me stick with it. <laughs> I mean, it seems like common sense, right? People don't apply it to weight loss because there's about a trillion dollars trying to be made off of uh, giving you a short-term fix to a long-term result, getting your money and then leaving you to try the next one. It works for everyone, except you. Go slow. Don't get in a hurry, focus on what you're doing, focus on the changes you're making and keep those changes coming and they will just absolutely build up. You start with a little snowball and if you keep rolling it, it can get pretty big.